Welcome back to Road America, here in the heartland of Wisconsin. We just have three laps to go here in what was a pretty exciting race so far. As we complete 98 laps, here is the current stands. For a set is your current leader. As you look at the rest of the field, definitely a lot of drivers to look out for. As we get deeper in the back, Eric Romerola, Clint Boyer, Kyle Busch, all down potential winners. They're deeper in the back, but they do have a chance. Derek Coke out with an engine failure from earlier. Dave Blaney and Kurt Busch on lap 50 had a little crash, and then Mike Bliss just parked it behind the wall. It's definitely going to be exciting with just two laps to go, as the cars are definitely spreading themselves out to get ready for what should be one heck of an exciting race. A couple of road course rings that we wanted to throw out in point. Boris said in the zero car that is a one-off race. Robin Gordon is doing a few races, but mostly importing the road course races. Well, as we see the pace car is pulling in, Jimmy Johnson here in second. Could he get the dive into turn number one? Boris said has chosen the outside lane for this restart, for it should be one heck of a finish. We only have two laps to go. And here we go. We're going to find out who's going to be the winner. And the green is in the air. Green flag is out. Boris said. Brings him down to turn number one. Oh boy. It should be. Oh, Montoya down to the inside. Can Montoya do anything about it? A couple of cars in the wall up high. That was David Reagan and Barbie Labonte. And starts around. Tony Stewart has gone around. And Ryan Newman has done so too. Matt Kenseth also around. Oh, in the wall. In the tires, that is Paul Menard and Brian Kozlowski. And Boris said has gone around too. Him and Martin Truex Jr., Casey Kane, Kevin Harvick, all spin around. Kyle Busch too. Oh boy. Caution not out as Johnson brings him down into Hitty Corner. Jimmy Johnson and Juan Montoya side by side down to Hitty Corner. Who's going to get on top? Boy, Montoya slowed down a bit and Johnson's off. Jimmy Johnson off course, but he keeps going. Scott Pruitt also off as Montoya and Robbie Gordon are side by side for the lead. That straightaway they go, and it looks like Robbie should get the edge as Andy Lally tries to make it three wide, but that is not going to happen. Montoya on the wall hard. He gets into the tires. Johnson follows suit. James Hinchcliffe also involved in the 72 car. Boy, that is going to take them out of the race. No caution yet. As Andy Lally goes to the to the inside, Gordon and Biffle off track. That is Robbie Gordon in the seven. Andy Lally takes him around the carousel corner. Andy Lally all the way around. Great Biffle follows suit. Andy Lally in the sand. Andy Lally gets off. Dale Jr. is off as well. Robbie Gordon is now in second. He almost touches Greg Biffle as Jr. and Lally get at it in the back. Robbie leads a great Biffle second, and who is in third? Jeff Gordon in 24, he is in third. As they come off, oh, we have more trouble. Eric Harrell, Joey Logano, Travis Quaffle, Dale Earnhardt Jr., all in the wall hard. Carl Edwards, oh my goodness. They all spin around. As Robbie Gordon leads them around the final corners, as we have one lap, we're going to have one lap to go. Jeff Burton and Brennan gone fourth and fifth. Could they do anything to take down the leaders? I don't think so. They are pretty far back to do anything about them. As we ride with Greg Duffel, you just see how close Gordon is. And just look at the car. Just balance. Just it's an athletic balancing act. As Gordon tries to save it up the track. As they go up the hill, we have one lap of racing to go. Robbie Gordon has the lead. Can Greg Duffel do anything to stop him? I don't know guys, it is going to be really tough as Jeff Gordon rides in third. Down to the first corner, we can just see how the back just juts out on the corner. It just shows how loose the cars really are. Robbie Gordon leads, Greg Biffle second. It has been a good nine years since Robbie Gordon has won a Spring Cup race. Last time they won, it was all the Winston Cup Series, back at Watkins Glen. Boy, he just has one lap to do it, as we are still green after all that wreckage. I guess that it's all cleared, it's all set to go. But can Robbie, can a road course ringer win 
here in the Spring Cup Series. Boy, Greg Buffalo and Jeff Burnett are all over Robbie Norton's heel, but Robbie got a good run off the corner last time. Robbie Gordon is doing everything he can to give Dodge another win. As Biffle and Jeff Gordon are still on his heels, Jeff Burnett and Brendan John have definitely fallen off pace with the leaders. Down to the corner. Boy, Jeff Gordon did have a run. Brendan John swerves off course, but they keep going down the carousel corner. Robbie Gordon, he gets a little high, he's in the sand! And Greg Biffle's going to pass by him as Robbie and Jeff Gordon, both the Gordons, in the sand. Greg Biffle keeps going. Scott Pruitt is going to take second place. Boy, Greg Biffle has a huge lead. All he needs to do is just teeter around and he's going to be the winner of Road America. Pruitt in the wall. Oh, boy. Scott Pruitt and Robbie Gordon both smack the wall. All Biffle needs to do is he needs to get going. He just needs to go around the corner and just save it. And, oh, no. Around goes Greg Biffle. He needs to get going, otherwise they're going to pass him. Jeff Gordon, Jeff Burton, Casey Mears, Marcus Ambrose, they're all going to pass him. And Gordon comes, he can pass him. No, he can't. He slips off the corner too. And Andy Lally is going to come out on top. Burton got in second. They're going to battle it out for the win. Can Burton have anything for Andy Lally? I don't know. To the outside goes Burton. Andy Lally sticks it to the low side. Brandon has a run as they go up the hill one more time. Can Brandon God do anything about it? He has a run side by side down the front straightaway. Will he have enough? No, Andy Lally is your winner here at Road America. Wow, what a finish. Boy, who knew Andy Lally was going to be the winner here at Road America? Boy, what an exciting finish that was. I cannot believe it. Well, as we close off here, boy, that, I, I can't believe it. I, and Brendan Gunn, he slipped off the corner at the last moment. All right, let's take a look at a few replays of what happened here at Road America. So as we start off, yeah, Tony Stewart was a pretty dominant car all race long. But just the very first corner, hit both him and his teammate Ryan Newman Pulling off track, Stewart finished 37. He didn't go, but Ryan Newman was able to get back and finish 11 in this one. Matt Kenseth went on to finish 6, while Denny Hamlin finished 36. Not a good run for that team. Lennar did get out of his car, and the car was cleared. He was okay, but he did finish 34th. Brad Keselowski, however, finished 24th in this race. Now, Boris did keep going. We'll talk about him later. Martin Truex, however, he wasn't able to get going until later. As you see, he finished 35th. Casey Kane went on to finish 21st. And Kevin Perfect was able to finish 18th. Martin Truex got stuck in the sand, so he had to be quit early. Juan Montoya in the 42. He gets into the tire barriers, and because of that, he finished 31st. Jimmy Johnson never passed him after he smacked the wall, finished 33rd. James Hinnicliffe Inchcliffe, my bad, finished 12th. Eric Armorola, he had a strong run going, but he slams the outside wall, finishing 20th. Joey Logano went on to finish 25th. Earnhardt Jr., trying to get his dark night race card, he just went at Michigan, finished 27th. And Carl Edwards, hard crash for him, but he's alright, he finishes 26th. That's fact is we weren't able to catch this in the live footage, but he goes on and he finishes 17th after a quick spin in his sand. Boris said, this is what happened to him. We missed this. This was after the wreck with Logano and Earnhardt. He loses it. He collects Regan Smith. Boris finishes 20th. Regan Smith finishes 29th. This I cannot believe. Brennan Gunn, just a few moments before, spins off course into the sand, into the grass. But he's able to collect it up, and he's able to finish second. Now, what's more amazing, Scott Pruitt, even after his hard crash, was able to get going, and he is able to finish in the top ten. And Robbie Gordon, his car was so slow after the wreck, he was able to get around all the cars in the sand to finish third in the race. Well, you see Jeff Burton almost good enough for us there. And Greg Biffle. Boy, what can you say about him? 
he slides up or is he pretty much just had a walk in the cross, but he ends up finishing fourth. Jeff Gordon then was able to finish 10th. He still has a top 10, but he definitely could have been better. Jeff Byrne finished fifth, with Casey Mears finished ninth, and Marcus Ambrose it was not able to get going. He finishes 14th. But it's all about the yellow car. The fifth team made specifically for this race at RCR. Andy Lally, 2011 Rookie of the Year, Road Course Specialist, has won here at Road America. Congratulations to him and that team. As we wrap up this broadcast, we wish you guys a, a thank you for watching this program. Well, hope you enjoy this broadcast, and we will see you later.